It was an E. coli outbreak at a popular Middle Tennessee farm that sent two kids to the hospital and sadly one of them died. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Carrie Sharp. Rory is off. The results from the outbreak at Lucky Lad Farms were released today. News Channel 5's Erin Cantrell has an in-depth look at them and found most mammals carry E. coli, but some strains can be deadly to humans. This particular strain of E. coli that caused the sickness can be found in many types of farm animals. In fact, in the Tennessee Department of Health's official report, they list several examples. According to the Department of Health, two baby goats are the reason for the outbreak at Lucky Lad Farms in Rutherford County that sent two children to the hospital over the summer. For them, it's almost like part of their normal gut bacteria, uh, whereas for us, uh, and other types of animals that can cause disease. Uh, these bacteria make a toxin, uh, and that toxin basically uh, induces diarrhea in your gastrointestinal tract, in your intestines. The official report shows one child attended the camp, the other one picked it up from a family member who was there. The two-year-old child ended up developing hemolytic uremic syndrome. MTSU microbiology professor Mary Ferrone says E. coli tends to be worse in children. Have about a 15% probability of developing a hemolytic uremic syndrome, which is the damage to the kidneys, and then that's less in adults. In the health department's report, Lucky Lad Farms did close the facility and worked with the state to collect dozens of samples to discover where the bacteria came from. That is a little mysterious that just the two young uh, goats had it, and they didn't find it in the adult uh, population. So where, where did it come from? Lucky Lad Farms released a statement about the breakout, saying in part, Our family and staff continue to offer prayers and heartfelt condolences to everyone affected by the very sad outcome that occurred in June. We are committed to keeping our guests and staff healthy and safe, but we cannot guarantee against exposure to communicable or zoonotic diseases. Ferron thinks it can be educational to expose children to the agricultural world, but you must properly wash their hands every time they engage with animals. Uh, even if they don't pet the animal, but are holding on to fences or, or touching things around the animal's environment, they should definitely wipe and wash their hands. Reporting for News Channel 5, I'm Erin Kentrell. The goats in question were euthanized and Lucky Lad Farms is back open. They also tore down the barn the goats were housed in and stripped the soil in that area so sunlight could kill any potential remaining bacterium. You can read the full report at newschannel5.com.